Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and today I want to show you how to make my flat pack backpacking rocket stove I call the Rocket King. Stay tuned. Welcome back, subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that's going to appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen throughout the video. I'm at my local scrap metal yard, and I'm actually looking for a piece of metal here to use to build the rocket stove project. Let's see what we can find. Mm, this shelf might work. There's a decent gauge on this. I want to get at this big piece of sheet metal here and see what this is all about. Lots of drain pan. Looks like about the same gauge, but I like that it's raw. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this to the front desk and see how much they're going to charge me for it. Hopefully it's about the same amount of the $2.70 I just got paid for aluminum cans. We'll see if it's an even trade. First I cut the sides off the drain pan to get to a flat piece of metal. Next, I print out the plans and trim close to the lines. Then I use a lighter coat of spray adhesive to tack the plans to the metal. I'm using care to align the plan pieces to allow for a single cut to trim two pieces at the same time. The piece of metal needed for the Rocket King is approximately 12 inches by 24 inches. Next, I cut out the stove pieces using my jigsaw with a metal cutting blade. I switched my bandsaw with a metal cutting blade, applying some oil to keep the blade cooler. The bandsaw was cutting much faster, however after a few cuts, the blade was dulled. I likely needed a higher quality blade, so I went back to the jigsaw to finish. Once the pieces are cut, I file the edges to remove any burrs. The stacking grooves used to connect the sides of the stove need to be the same width as the gauge of the metal. The width of my grinder cutoff wheel is the perfect match. Once the grooves are grinded, they're cleaned up with a jigsaw.
I used a small bit to drill out the stacking slots in each of the sides. Once the slots are drilled, they're also cleaned up with a jigsaw. Next, I drill out the hole in the firebox and cut it out. Then the holes are prepped for the airflow venting. I use a steel screw to center each hole. Then drill. I use a flat blade screwdriver to deeper and then the file to smooth. Then I connect the two center holes on the bottom row to form the stacking slot on the front piece. The same method is used for the venting holes in the firebox floor. Because the paper came off, a few of the holes ended up misaligned, so it isn't perfect, but this shouldn't affect performance. Once all the parts are cut, drilled and smoothed. I used some WD-40 to release the paper. This is an optional step as the first firing will remove the paper as well. A 20 degree angle is bent into the tab of the firebox floor. To assemble the Rocket King, the four sides are slotted together. and the firebox floor is inserted through the firebox opening with the tab extending through the stacking slot on the back side of the stove. The hole in the tab is used to stake the stove to the ground for stability when cooking. The grooves in the sides of the firebox floor lock down into the curve of the firebox. For flat packing, the stove is disassembled and the four sides stack, aligning the stacking grooves. The firebox floor tab is inserted through all four sides, and a final bend is added, completing the stacking setup. A thick hairband is used to hold the stacked stove together. The side pieces can be unstacked with this bend in place. There you have it, the Rocket King, a flat pack backpacking rocket stove. I've got the plans available for sale on my website. You can click on the link above or in the description below to check those out. It's also a great way for you to help me continue making DIY videos here on YouTube. Thanks so much for your support. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe 
for a new DIY video almost every Friday.